Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company. I wanna talk about tomato trellises. We've had lots of different systems over the years and some have been really bad, some have been okay, um, but we finally found one that we really like and I wanna show it off to you guys. So this method came from Josh Satin of Satin Hill Farms. He is uh, got a really amazing YouTube channel. You should check it out. Um, but we, we saw this online and we thought we'd give it a try and we're so happy that we did. This tomato plant and my row of tomatoes here have never been this neat on our farm. And I give all of the credit to the system that we have now to trellis them. So it's a pretty basic system and very inexpensive. Another thing we really love. This is just three quarter inch conduit. We have some T-posts here and some PVC T's. Basically, what you see is how you put it together. Really simple, the posts are driven into the ground. We run the conduit through the tees so that it'll hold it in place. And that allows us to have a structure strong enough to hold really heavy indeterminate tomatoes. All the tomatoes in this row are all indeterminate varieties that get really viney and long. And we just really need a lot of structure to hold them up. One of the issues that we have with a lot of the heirlooms that we grow is that they get really big, long, and then you can't keep on top of pruning them. So by having a system like this, it's very easy to keep the middle of the plant open for good airflow. And uh, it's just, it just, it looks great. They, they look healthier because I have a good system to trellis them on. So if you look down here, you can see that I've decided to go with two liters. So I have the main part of the plant here. I have pruned off every single leaf on the bottom. That's a really good idea, especially if you're in an area that gets lots of um, late summer storms. You want to keep any splashing up off the leaves. That actually helps with managing disease. So I've got my main stem here, and then I decided to go with two liters. You can decide to go with one. We have enough space here that it warranted going with two. And then I simply trained it to two different liters. I have gone through and I have picked off the suckers. Suckers are the little plant, little part of the plant here that grows between the sun leaf here and the main stem. And you can simply, when they're this little, just break them off. The reason why you do that is this, if you leave this plant to grow naturally, this is gonna grow off into almost a whole new tomato plant and it's gonna suck energy from all these flowers here. The point of growing tomato plants is to get tomatoes, right? You don't want a massive plant that just gives you one or two little tiny tomatoes. So by taking off these suckers, you're gonna help control where it puts its energy, which is really important. So I'm following up the leader and I'm picking off any suckers. Here's another sucker here. Pick that guy off. And again, I'm picking the sucker off so that it sends its energy up into here. If I were to let this grow and get really big, it would be sucking all the energy from this cluster of flowers, hence the name sucker. So you wanna get rid of those. So I've got my two leaders here and I'm just simply winding them up the string. Another reason why I really like using the conduit is because I can slide the string and open my plants up. I like being able to have good airflow in here. If I let this get clustered and covered in all kinds of leaves and vines, that's gonna be a good place for white flies to live, aphids, and then I also can't control the tomato hornworm, which we will get later on in the summer. So overall, it's just a beautiful system. It works really well, it's inexpensive. I love that I can use the string and these clips can come on and off at any point. So I can change how I wanna do it year to year. So there's a lot of systems out there. I encourage you to try them all depending on your location and your, your needs. But for us on our farm with our row crop style, um, planting, this system really has been the best. So give it a try and tell me what you think.